Hello, once more, class. This is another homework example from the 2A homework set. This is number 10 in section 2.5. So, what I got written here is when you see this as your instructions, just don't worry about using all these different methods. Just use um, your calculator, all right? Possibly the graph of the polynomial and the graph utility. Use that table feature in your calculator. To find that, um, to find the zero. Okay, don't worry about doing it. If you did view an example, I'm going to show you how to do it this way. I'm allowing you to use your calculator and use technology to do these problems. All right, so remember the way to do this is put the polynomial into your calculator. All right, then go to your table, so second graph. All right, I'm looking through here. I'm looking to find a zero in the y column. So there it is. All right, if I scroll up and down, I'm not going to find any more. All right, negative one is my only zero. If I go to the graph, again, I see it touches there. I don't see it touching anywhere else. Now, I'm going to zoom in on it because oops, because I want um, I want you to see again that it, it does just come down here, touch at negative one, and turn and go back up. So remember, that means even multiplicity. So that means this negative one occurs as a zero twice. So we're going to set up synthetic division with negative one as the zero. All right, so there's the setup, and now I just go through the process of synthetic division. All right, so there's what I come up with. Remember, we started with a x to the fourth, so that means this is 1x cubed minus 9x squared plus 16x plus 26, the remainder of zero. So this is a degree 3 polynomial. But remember, because that graph showed us that negative 1 was even multiplicity, that means that it counts twice. So that means we can use negative one again when we do synthetic division. Alright, we don't need to go all the way to the zero, just stop at the 26. And now we do one more iteration of synthetic division. Alright, and this time we get this. Now this was x to the fourth, this is x cubed, so that means this is an x squared, this is an x, and this is a constant. Okay, but more importantly, because now we're down to um, x squared, that means this is quadratic. So that means that this can go directly into the quadratic formula. So that means that this is, we can call this, instead of x squared x and c, we can just go ahead and say it's a, b, and c with the quadratic formula. Alright, so x equals minus b would be 10 plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. all over 2a, which would just be 2 times 1 is 2. Alright, so negative 10 squared is 100. Negative 4 times 26 is negative 104. So 100 minus 104 is a negative 4. That's what we have underneath that radical. And negative, the square root of negative 4 is 2i. So imaginary. Right, and remember, if they're both even like this, divide them both by 2. So that's a 5 plus or minus 2, uh, 1i. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. 2i divided by 2 is just i. So what are our solutions? What are our zeros? we got a negative 1, a multiplicity 2. And then we've got a 5 plus i. And then a 5 minus i. So there's your zeros for this one. Okay, so again, if you see this uh, instruction, if you click view an example, it's going to walk you through using that instruction. Instead of that, use your calculator, get that first zero from the table. All right, there's negative one, give me zero. Use the graph. Again, we see the, uh, the uh, even multiplicity of that root at negative one. It means I can use it twice and then synthetic division until you get down to a quadratic. And then quadratic formula for your final two zeros or possibly factor it if it's factorable. Okay, this one wasn't, but sometimes it will be. 